about the beautiful Calvary Cemetery of Olink, Massachusetts. This cemetery was made in the early 1880s for St. Clair Church, and then its mission churches later on started to use it. Um, the Rosary Church was started in the late 1880s, started using this cemetery, and then Blessed Sacrament was started in the year 1903, and they started using the cemetery. So it got lots of use. And you're looking at, at what is a cemetery chapel. And the reason why they do this is because you can have a final prayer by the pastor right in the cemetery for all the mourners that come along the way. When this chapel was first built in 1930, the first day it was ready, they dedicated it. The people all walked from downtown Holyoke up to there. So they worked, walked from the Sacred Heart Church up to the cemetery. I would guess that's a distance of about almost two miles, maybe about 1.7 miles. That's a lot for most people, but they wanted to do it to honor their beautiful cemetery. And you can see on it, it's a Gothic chapel. You can see on symbols of the Lamb. And it's now probably not as heavily used as it used to be, which, which is not great. But from this point, I want to go around the four quadrants to introduce you briefly to what the cemetery is like. On the sides of this old chapel are some very old stones for families. Back along the road, we see a crucifix in the distance, and that crucifix is where the priests are buried. It's the priest circle. And there's three priests of the Sacred Heart Church buried in the front of it. Not the founder, but the second, the fourth, and the fifth priests are all buried there. Behind the crucifix is one reburial because Rosary Church's first pastor was buried alongside his church, but now when the church was taken down, they moved into the back of that crucifix area. So the next thing I want you to look at is right to the side, some very, very big stones, but the biggest by far is the Laney family. The Laney family built many things around Hoyle. They built the White Street Reservoir Dam. They built four dams at the Ashley Reservoir. They built, or helped build the City Hall. They helped build the walls of the Holyoke Canal System. They built the Marble Building, which is not there anymore, and they paid for it themselves. That became their base of operation. They built many hundreds of buildings around Holyoke and hundreds of buildings in all the surrounding towns. So they were the builders of Holyoke. They came to Holyoke even before Holyoke was Holyoke. They came in 1844 and started building. So they've been around an incredible amount of time. And the last quadrant is looking towards the very front of the cemetery itself. There's a big gate there with nice uh, masonry walls on each side of it. And why is that important? Well, one of our stops, we're going to look right at the two engravements on each, each of those beautiful gates. And I'm going to read them to you. Those engravements are from the third pastor. His name was William Foley. And beyond it, you can see Northampton Street. Adjacent to the cemetery is another cemetery, which I also have tours in. That one is was called Baptist Cemetery. Now it's called the Elmwood Cemetery. So it's a great neighborhood, and thanks for coming even into the cemetery, and I hope you've gone all the stops of the cemetery.